Now, from your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Well, good Wednesday evening, San Angelo. With all these clouds coming in through the last 24 hours or so, all of them essentially pushing west to east, you really would think, hey, we have some sort of system coming in, and you're right, except we kind of have two. First, we have a low pressure system that's going to try to come in from the west, but that also is going to work with a cold front. Here's our setup for the next couple of days here. Tomorrow, we're going to have a little bit of light rain starting up as this front approaches. That ought to be getting here a little bit closer to sunset. It's really not going to be much different tomorrow, maybe a few notches colder just on account of having a little more cloud cover. The bulk of the rainfall is going to fall behind that front that's going to be on Friday, but that remains the big Big question mark whether or not we're going to have anything besides rain. Personally, I think it stays north of the Concho Valley, but our northern counties like Sterling City, Robert Lee could very well get a little bit of ice. I'm going to show you a couple of scenarios in just a moment. Here's what we're looking at right now 50 degrees, and it's not too shabby out there. It is a little bit on the chilly side, certainly. That humidity kind of cuts through you there when we have a little bit more of that. But five to 10 miles an hour for the winds right now, not too bad from the south, incidentally. You don't really want it coming in. From the north, that would just really up your wind chill. And 59 degrees for today's high. Again, not bad and really not that far off the average of 62. It makes a bit of sense considering the clouds we had. 28 we hit this morning, so if anything, this was a bit of a recovery. 31 degree difference there. Rain, we need some. Even though you look at this, we're in great shape for the year, it always matters what time of year that it falls. And with the recent freezes, what have you, over the past month or so, we really could use a little bit more. We only have three hundredths of an inch for the month of November. We're going to get some. I'm, it's all but a certainty coming into the uh, first half of the weekend here. In the future cast, I'm going to show you a couple scenarios here. Running this on through for tomorrow, I'm going to stop it here, and you're going to see this little bit of light rain starting to come in. Okay. That's doable. The future cast for the rest of this, you really get a sense of all the bulk of this rainfall. Now, this might even be overdoing it a bit. I would still argue one to two inches are possible for many Concha Valley residents. Looking at the next model, though, this one's a bit more coarse, a bit more widespread. It goes further out, but really we're only concerned with the next few days here. This also shows that little light rain. Again, this is tomorrow uh, evening, afternoon and evening. As we run this on through, notice right up here, if you can see it a little bit past the clouds, that's getting into ice and snow conditions starting to come back into the panhandle. The panhandle, incidentally, looks to get walloped with uh, quite a bit of snow in any of the models that I've been seeing so far. But for us here in the Concho Valley, it does latch onto that rain. The thing is, it doesn't really bring that uh, snow or ice all that far down here. Notice this dry slot, and that really is what it's called when you have this system wrapping around. That drier air is the wild card here. Whether or not we dry out in time for us to essentially not get any of that ice and snow, we are certainly going to feel the cool effects from it, though. Forecast rain totals going on into uh, the next couple of days or so. There's the European model, has quite a bit there. The GFS, more American-based model, not as much, but the long story short is we're going to have at least one to two inches of rain there. 45 degrees for tonight, not quite as cold, not too bad. Tomorrow, about the same. That light rain is going to be starting up as that front is approaching, though, and your weather authority seven day forecast 80% on Friday. And that wintry mix, again, a little bit of a wild card there. Would not recommend travel up towards Abilene, Midland, anywhere I 20 north, really, especially going into Saturday morning.